I'm Keith Hoffman, executive producer of Finding Bigfoot, and it's my job to look at evidence to decide if the team will investigate it on the series Finding Bigfoot. I go by three main criteria. Science. Does this conform with what the Bigfoot team already knows about Bigfoots? Logic. Does it make sense someone would even have a camera out in the woods? Gut. Does it feel real or not? Our next piece of rejected evidence is from a man in New York who has seen Bigfoot a lot. He has seen Bigfoot so much that he took the next logical step and made a music video. Watch this. All right, pause, pause. That was a gorilla. Keep going. All right, uh, where, where do we start with this one? First of all, Bigfoot is supposed to be elusive, but this guy sees him all the time. I mean, come to think of it, maybe I should just fire our Bigfoot team and put this guy on the case. But on a serious note, this Bigfoot doesn't move in any way that the team has learned that they move. Cliff from the Finding Bigfoot team can explain it better. When you're following a Sasquatch, you can find that its footprints are almost in a tightrope walk, like straight ahead of each other, as opposed to side by side like humans. Sasquatches walk one foot in front of the other, and when they walk, they swing their leg out and land it in front. They swing their leg out and land it in front. But you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that really is Bigfoot. Maybe he's coming out of his shell, and, and this video of Bigfoot is real. This just wasn't what I anticipated. I, I mean, I'm barely even on screen on your show. All right, well, you were hard to track down. Oh my god, and the animations. It looks nothing like me. That's it for now. And remember, this is just my opinion, although I think I'm right on this one. But if you have evidence that you are sure is Bigfoot, send it to us at animalplanet.com slash findingbigfoot. Maybe it'll end up on the series, or maybe it'll end up on rejected evidence. See you next time.